Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is... I am the Pope in question. My name is May Lynn. I am the one-time founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi is the word for the day. Hi. I'm very excited to be doing this episode of the podcast. This is episode 448 of the podcast, which means that, of course, there have been exactly 447 episodes that we've recorded before this one. Of course. Why would I lie about that? That would be a very weird meta joke that wouldn't make sense to anyone outside no. of maybe two or three people. Yes. Uh, but we are very excited to be doing this episode. I've got a fun game for us to play here in the monologue. And then we're going to be moving to our uh, uh, educationally uneducational history segment. And I, this is a huge one, and I'm so excited. This is such a good story. And then our movie this week is Brian and Charles, which is a bizarre British film that made less than a million dollars at the box office. And I freaking love it. <laughs> I love this movie so much. It is freaking adorable. I am Charles Petrescu. Very excited to be talking about this movie over here. Oh, it's going to be so good. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. Yes. I have got a... It's, it's, it's new podcast segment time again. Okay. Uh, I have a new podcast segment, and I'm very excited about it. So uh, this this one will be fun. Uh, I mentioned it on our, our uh, Facebook group. Uh, you should go there. We post all the good memes. Oh, we do. We always have the best trying to post, memes. Yeah, always we trying to post some good Best memes. We do. And we have we, good memes. And people also have to come out for the live show as well. Because yes. there are things yes. that happen in the live show that do not get uploaded. And and hey, you're you're missing it, you know. A cultural yep. phenomenon is going uh, on here. A cultural and you're phenomenon. missing it. Yeah. So okay, so over the past few weeks, I've been seeing some really strange bits of news. Like here's a tiny weird news segment. Here's a tiny weird bit of news here. Sprinkle some over here and some crinfrage on the top. What in the world was that thing? <laughs> oh, I've been seeing these small bits of news. And with each one, I've thought the same dang thing. I just know there's a funny joke in there somewhere. Like, yeah. you, here's the bit of news. And uh, there's all the ingredients for a good joke. But I just can't figure out what the, the dang joke is. So I've got some real life, small, nice little news nuggets here, and I'm going to read these 100 percent real bits of news that happened in the last two weeks. And then after each one, Bunny, you and I off the top of our heads are going to try and workshop a joke for each one. OK, all right. OK, are you ready, Bunford and Sons? I am ready. OK. Uh, so let's do this. Number one, uh, Bob Bourne, the inventor of Peeps candies, died this week at, yes. at age 98. And I guess that means he'll be dead. See, there's a, there's a joke there somewhere. Yes. You see what I'm saying? You get, you get so close to a punchline and then like nothing. So what would be a good joke for the inventor of peeps dying? Uh, I, 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 you know, I know they were horrible, but I absolutely loved his peep tracks. Peep. Yeah. Pick. Uh, All right. Oh, All gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. Peeps. 
but it, but it was the first uh, one, and that's the important part. How how about this for a joke? I just came up with this. Uh, per his uh, request, he intends to be cremated, and then ninety percent of the ashes will just get rid of and put sugar in. Yeah. Oddly, oddly, so, you so know, the, uh, his... even though this is very sad and the man is dead, still, at least 50% of the population thought he was disgusting. Yes. As I a, find another, peeps fucking that's disgusting. A <laughs> it, it, I have a hard time with him. It, I think it's weird that now there's, number one, there's like a bajillion different flavor peeps, and I find that weird. Yeah. And for different holidays, too. Yeah. And uh, when are we going to get some Woodmas peeps? Yeah. That's what we need. We do. Is some Woodmas peeps. Vodka. Imperial, imper- Imperial whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Whiskey and Angora. Yeah. Uh, Bob Bourne, inventor of Peeps Candies, died this week at age 98, and per his request, he's going to be eaten. I see it, the, you get so close to the joke, and then nothing. Well, what I find really odd with the death of the inventor of the Peeps is that the inventor of of the circus peanuts and candy corn were both not invited to the funeral. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Uh, here's another bit of news. This week, a London man died after being crushed by a urinal. So all of the ingredients to a good joke is there, yeah, but then whoop, you hit this wall. That'll really piss you off. Uh, that's a good one. How about this? Crap! <laughs> that's, that one's all right. Okay. Uh, here's another bit of news. In Sacramento this week, a statue of a meat packing magnate Matt, was beheaded. The statue the of statue a meat packing magnate was, was beheaded, beheaded in Sacramento. That sounds like a spy code. It does. It sound it sounds very much like the chicken roars in silence. Yeah. Uh, it, which is my favorite spy secret. code. You know that. Yeah. Top uh, secret is so such a good movie. Top Secret is a good movie. I thought that was far funnier than Airplane, actually. Yeah. And I thought Airplane was pretty damn funny. In Sacramento this week, a statue of a meatpacking magnate was beheaded. So, I guess... Somebody's... Somebody's getting head. Okay, wait, wait a second. Statement from Paul Pelosi, you got off lucky. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay, so Bunny, uh, this next uh, another one... Another statement from Paul Pelosi, I should have gotten this statue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bunny, this next bit is the best headline of 2022, Okay. This is an actual headline to an actual article. It happened in 2022. This is the headline as it is in the article. Menacing wild turkeys led by Kevin are taking a New England city for themselves. Well, they really kind of do deserve it. You know, I mean, let them have it. But what about Kevin? That's what I need to know. Eventually, we'll be wearing Kevin's faces on our t-shirts. 
and you know, and bumper stickers. Like, but like, like just like an Kevin outline everything. sketch. Andy Warhol may rise from the grave to do one of those soup can things of Kevin. You click the article and you read, you you read the actual story and and it's a a bunch of men- menacing wild turkeys led by Kevin Sorbo. Led by Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, that's the Kevin. Uh-oh. It's Kevin Sorbo, and he's leading the turkeys in a rebellion to try and get God's Not Dead 8 made. Oh, God. It, it, menacing Wild Turkeys led by Kevin. That's such a Monty Python skit, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's fascinating. Fascinating to me. Okay, so Dim's here's the Dale. last. It, what was his name? What was the name of Dimsdale? Uh, The the sheep in the trees. Hmm. No, the sheep in the yeah, the sheep in the trees was somebody else. Wasn't that Eric? That was Yes, Eric. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, that's a different yeah, that's the did that's a different one. Uh okay. So here's the last bit of news that we're gonna try and make a joke for. According to local police, several squirrel monkeys were stolen from a Louisiana zoo. And in lighter news, according to local police, several squirrel monkeys were stolen from a Louisiana zoo. There's a there's a punchline that I'm missing. Police say suspect was carrying a large barrel. Uh, S-I-M-P squirrels in my pants. A barrel that's, that's a... full of monkeys. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Squirrel monkeys. Yeah. Squonkies. How did they get that squirrel to have sex with that monkey? Vodka. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, Peeps, uh, whiskey flavored peeps. Well, that was a fun game, wasn't it? I had fun. That was a it was, especially for a first outing. Yeah, you know, we sort of have to get a kind of a vibe going for it, you know. Yeah, this is the first time. Um, oh, wait, hold on a second. I've got some breaking news. Oh. Ron DeSantis is now banning the Pope on Film podcast from being in schools. Oh, good. Honestly, we do not belong in schools. I have to agree with him on that one. That's a we good never point. Did. That's a good point. I'm having the hardest time with my son. He is in fifth grade, and um, it apparently. I should have been paying attention in that show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because we're just about to get to the point where I don't know the math anymore. Yeah. You know? And Max is like, hey, can you help me with this question? And I'm like, no. I'm a straight C student. Hey, Max, do you know uh, how I knew all the answers when I was in school? Because the answers were in the back of the book. Yeah. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't know. You know? But, uh, uh, yeah, I have no idea what we were talking about. Not all of the books had had the answers in the back. I remember, I remember, like, the first day of school and getting the books and being the first thing I checked for and being like, fuck, no answers. Yeah, Uh, man, Uh, my kids are awesome, and I love them. Yes. And I'm so excited to talk about this week's movie. It's so good, and it's adorable, and I I just don't want to see these serious dramas that will try and make me cry, you know? Yeah. Because so I used to have the AMC, I had, I... My wife got me at the end of 2018 the AMC A list 
membership. And so for 20 bucks a month, I get three free movie tickets a week. And for all of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, I saw three movies a week. I always went and I saw three movies a week and uh, it was great. But back then, because I had to watch three movies a week, I would force myself to watch these movies that I didn't necessarily want to see. But then a pandemic happened and now we're on the other side of the pandemic. And you know what? Uh, I don't I don't care to watch the new Avatar and I'm not going to. Yeah. Period. I want to go to movies that I want to see, movies that will entertain me, movies that will laugh. And I just don't want like some long serious drama to make me cry i've done enough crying you know yeah oh okay so um <coughs> i i i am so out of my mind right now so this is going to be a short intro and uh, i'm gonna wrap it up right now and the reason why we're wrapping it up is uh, the show is usually split up into three parts. There's the monologue, the introduction, and then there is the uh, historical segment where we talk about uh, a bit of history. And then the third part is when we uh, talk about the movie. Little Bunny Foo Foo. Uh, little Black Cook Book. So these are the three segments of the podcast. Today... Our history section is freaking huge, but it's such a good story. It's a, it's the second half of a two part bit of history. Last week we talked about King Kong. This week we're talking about King Kong's uh, racist father. I'm so excited to tell you this story. So we're going to take a short break because we do this on Zoom, and so uh, we have. Time limits. Well, we might minutes? as well. We might as well just roll into it, and then we will we will reload when it times out because we got a lot of time. We got like twenty minutes, give or take. Yeah, but I I I really want to get to the half. It's so such just a go to the half. One. That's what I'm saying. Oh, just go to the half. Okay. Then I guess we can do that. Wow, that'll yeah. that'll that'll feel weird. That feels wrong. I feel feels dirty. wrong. Yeah. Flexible. Flexible. Yeah. Ready? We're Flexible. going. We're going there. We're going. Are you ready? We're going. Are you ready? We're oh, going. Oh. We're oh, gone. Okay.